The Omega Virus was an electronic talking board game published by Milton Bradley in 1992. This is the first installment in my How to Play series, and I'm going to teach you how to play the Omega Virus. First, let's take a look at the box. Timed countdown, 30 heart-pounding minutes until the virus takes over. That's right, this game is timed. It is possible to have no winners in this game. You'll also notice that the artwork is pretty good. You'll also notice that it says for one to four players, it is actually possible to play this game by yourself. You're a highly trained commando on board Battlesat-1, Earth's military satellite station. Your mission? To destroy the dreaded Omega Virus, a computer entity that's taken control of the station. Every second counts as it begins to aim the station's plasma weapons toward Earth. Dash down pathways, dart into docking bays, and race into rooms as you search the station for high-tech weaponry and hunt for the virus. Beware. The virus knows where you are and what you found. It can attack you at any time. And so can your fellow commandos. As the virus spreads throughout the station, whole sectors shut down. Hurry, only minutes are left. Find the virus and destroy it to win. If time runs out, the virus wins. And Earth is doomed. How can you not want to play after reading that exciting description? I mean, look at these kids. They're having a wonderful time. Interact with Command Center. Quickly into your commands to react to two distinct electronic voices, the station's computer and the fiendish Omega virus. The virus is taking over. The virus has spread and taken control of the green sector. Life support cut off. Sector closing. All commandos must exit sector now. Destroy the virus or it wins. You've tracked down the virus with seconds to spare. Use your high-tech weaponry to destroy it now. If you fail, the virus wins. Now, you most likely bought this at a yard sale or an antique store, so let's see if you have all the necessary pieces to play the game. This piece is not necessary for playing the game, but is an interesting diagram of the commando, probe, and backpack. You will need the code pad, the Omega Virus, two AA batteries not included, four disruptors, four negatrons, four decoders, though I got five in my game, so if you're that kid who only received three, email me and I will send you the fourth decoder. Four probes, four green access cards, four blue access cards, four yellow access cards, four red access cards, four commandos, four black holders, four access card holders, the board, the setup instructions, and the comic book slash instruction manual. The story behind the game is, the Omega Virus is a sentient artificial intelligence that took over the Battleset 1 space station. Each player represents a different country who wants to claim the satellite for themselves. This is why you are attacking the Omega Virus as well as other commandos or the other players. To start the setup, grab the black holder and put it in the side of the board. Then grab the access card... <coughs> grab the access card holder... Grab the access card holder, thank you, and place it in the black holder. Then place the green access card inside. Then do the same for the other three sides of the board. Grab two AA batteries and place them inside the Omega Virus computer. Take the disruptor, negatron, decoder, access cards, and droids, I mean probes, and then place them in the Omega Virus computer. Place the Omega Virus computer in the center of the board, and finally place your commandos. You are now ready to play the Omega Virus. On your turn, you have four options. You can choose to move up to three spaces and hit pass if you cannot reach your destination. To pass, hit the button that says zero pass. Two, you can choose to move into a room that you have access to and explore it by hitting the to explore button. Three, you can choose to teleport from one docking bay to the next and then hit the pass button. Or you can choose to attack. To begin the game, hit the on button. There are three skill levels, zero for easy, one for medium, and two for challenging. For demo purposes, we'll start with zero easy. Now, instead of selecting the number of players, you simply do not hit the access code buttons for the players you don't wish to play. Pass them twice, and the computer will remember which players not to use. 
For the secret code, enter a two-digit number that comprises the numbers 0, 1, and 2. Be sure to write the secret code down. Every time you explore a room, you will listen for your secret code. If you ever hear your secret code repeated by the computer, you will know that you have just discovered the Omega virus in the room you just explored. And since each player has their own secret code, if you discover the room with the Omega virus, you keep it hidden from the rest of the players so that only you know where he is, so that you can come back at a later time once you have acquired all three weapons. The point of the game is to acquire all three weapons, and then find out which room the Omega virus is hiding in, and then try to destroy it. For this game, the green player's secret code will be 2-2. Two, two. Every five minutes, the Omega Virus will tell you just how much time you have left. Also, the Omega Virus will constantly annoy you by popping on ra randomly and hurling insults. And there is nothing you can do to make his insults go away. You must listen until he is finished before you can continue. Enter room code one zero zero probe found code one zero. Blue has just found his probe. This basically means that he can move twice each turn. And the blue probe is not limited to three spaces. He can move from room to room. You also have to watch out for security breaches. The number of shields you get to energize depends on the number of weapons you carry. The more shields you have, the greater chance you have of not being hit. Probes are destroyed, but if your commando is attacked, he loses his weapon, and if he has no weapon, he is teleported to a docking bay.